Hello, everyone. It is indeed Friday, April 17th in the year of our Lord, 2015. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. It's good old Fagin' Day Friday. Finally, it's Friday time. It was a ball bust of a day at work. This Princess Delilah. There she is. Hi, Hi. baby daughter. That's right. Awesome stuff. And, uh... She's excited. Today's a very special day for her. Today's a very special day. Why? Because it's my favorite YouTuber's birthday. Oh my goodness. The one that looks like a girl? To you. To me? It looks more like a girl than you're doing. You look very girly. Oh my. She got mad about that. What? Today's Don't you dare call me girly. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. You're a tomboy now, that's right. Yes. You're still a pretty girl. I know. All right, just checking. Princess Delilah, of course. Well, hey, today's unofficial sponsors of our show. We have Philo Liquors right down in Abilene, Yeehaw, Texas, the weather is Southern Oklahoma. Pretty much same damn thing, Philo Liquors. My favorite place to get adult beverages. My good friends, uh, Chris and his better house, Stephanie, and their awesome son, Nick. They work there, they own it. And, uh... My dear friend Jim Cockfield, of course, works there as well, owner as well. Um, we got Kelly and Dave that work there. They're phenomenal. The whole staff and crew and everybody that I've met over at Philo Liquors, I absolutely love them. And I'm not featuring anything from there that I purchased today as I was trying out some samples. But I got a couple donations from some very dear friends of mine that I'm featuring on today's show. Wow. No beer is better than a free beer, my friends. Let's go to my good friend Justin Dimmitt of Prosper. Owner, proprietor, creator of Prosper. He actually created the Baron's Song of the Day Facebook page. And then, uh, did it own, um, not sequel. Well, what the hell do they call it? You know, off sp- offshoot, offspring, off. Whatever the hell they call it, I can't think of it now. You know, when they have a show that's created due to another show, you know. I can't think of the term. I'm, it, it's been a shitty freaking week all week. But anyway, whatever. Uh, been a ball bust, but it's better than being unemployed or broke. Prosper. Facebook.com slash uh, Prosper. It's L-L-A. Facebook.com slash L-L-A. Prosper. Check it all out. If you ain't following this page, that's a damn crime. This is an official Prosper beer consumption apparatus. And, uh... All right, folks. It's time to bring out that first beer of the day. Because I need one right here, right now. My good friend, a great leader of men, women, and it's that I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, all the way north, west of Louisiana, pretty much the same damn state. My man, Big Al Hammonds. This guy is awesome. This guy is epic. This guy is a legend. He's originally from Tennessee, all the way north, southern Kentucky, pretty much the same damn state. Well, him and I were talking uh, adult beverages, and we did a little swap tronics. And what I got here is something I've never seen before, never had before, and I hadn't even heard of it before. Shot Top Spiced Banana Wheat, folks. This stuff is 5.5% alcohol by volume, above average in strength. It's a Belgian-style wheat ale brew with citrus peels, honey, spice, and banana with natural flavors. Hot damn, that's a cornucopia of absolute exquisite wicked awesomeness right there. Out of St. Louis, Missouri, it was like, they like caught up there, Missouri. I don't know where the A comes from, but hey, whatever. Prop building up, press, prop technique. Here we go. And a 45 degree grand right into the big exception up, press, right from the keyboard, because I'm that damn good. Have a spill drop yet? Never have, never will. Even my friends over at Philo Liquors, I've never seen this one there before. I've never seen this at any adult beverage store. Ever. I'm excited about this. Big Al Hammonds, we're fitting to see how it's going to be, my friend. Cheers and beers to all of you. Pro, as they say in Germany. Kapai, as they say in Japan. Oh. My. God. Folks, this is a mouthgasm right here. Big A plus on this here beer. Big Al Hammonds, my friend. You have done it. Thank you so much. You get a big I've got the salute to you. Oh hell yeah! Oh man. 
Al, this is this is exquisite wicked awesomeness. A plus all the way. Mmm. Oh my god, that's awesome. Alright. So yeah. Um Laverne and Shirley was an offshoot of Happy Days. And I can't if you can tell me what the word is that I'm looking for, and you post it up on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook Beer and Song of the Day page, or even tell it to me on my personal page, you're going to love Dr. Uh, Salute on the next episode of Beer and Song of the Day, okay? Because I'm drawing a blanket, and it's really pissing me off that I can't think of the word right now. When a show comes off of another show. Like Cheers, and um, pfft, I can't even think of the other one. Whatever. Screw it. Let's get to the birthdays. They got 14 of them to get to today. Wow! Right off the bat, my good friend Ken Ned. Ken Ned! Fellow Mafioso on the old Mafia Wars, an awesome man, an awesome guy. And Ken, happy birthday to you, my friend. How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying the show. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. And hey, celebrate well and enjoy, my friend. Cheers and beers. Next on the list. I celebrate a milestone birthday, a comical nav wizard walking brain of a man that I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Northern Mexico, my man Chris Coleman. Dude! Saw you today while we were on the job site and uh, had to tell you, happy birthday to you. Guess what you can do today? And you better do it right here, right now, as long as you ain't driving. You pick up an adult beverage and you give a big hearty cheers and beers to the love doctor right here talking to you right now. Brother! Happy birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. 21, that's lots of fun. Hey, party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969 minus the acid. Cheers and beers to you, my friend. And like me, New England sports fan all the way. Hell yeah. Next on the list, my man Kevin O'Donnelly. Another badass mafioso on the old Mafia Wars. Awesome guy. We help each other. Um... We, we, you know, throw items to each other. That's what we do on the Mafia Wars. We're in each other's Mafia Wars family. And uh, we get together so that we could crush the opposition. It's a lot of fun. Kevin, happy birthday, my friend. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list. My good friend Jimmy Ott. Yet another Mafia, so on the old Mafia Wars. Lots of fun. We get on there. We crush skulls. Ice fools. Have... It's a great way to get some, rid of some pent-up frustration. As soon as I get done with this here show, I'm getting on the Mafia Wars, and I'm whacking some mofos, baby. That's right. And Jimmy, I know we'll be helping each other out, my brother. Happy birthday. Hope you have an awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, this guy is the drummer for a phenomenal heavy metal band called um, King Shifter. King Shifter out of Wichita, Kansas. And this awesome man, former real hunk of the day, a beard song of the day, my man Dave Steinbach. The wonderful lesser half of his lovely lady, uh, Jen Henriksen. Dave Steinbach, Jen Henriksen. <coughs> Squeeze me. An amazing couple. And Dave, I know Jen's spoiling the hell out of you right now. She's a sweetheart. You're an awesome guy. Squeeze me. I'm <coughs> An awesome guy, and you two were the winners of the 2000 day, 2015 Valentine. Uh, I can't even talk straight right now. I'm so jacked up today. Uh, 2015 Valentine's Day contest. Hi, baby daughter. Hi. You helping me out? Give me some good luck. Yes. Thank you. I need all the help I can get. I feel like I got the brain cells of an average Yankee fan right now. Dumber than a second coat of paint to quote the late great George Carlin. That's how I feel. It's been a rough day. But it could be worse. Yeah, you're right. I could be Aroid. Who's that? The Yankee um, idiot, New York Yankee idiot that always uh, does steroids and cheats. Yuck. I'd rather have a dog fart on my face <laughs> than be a Yankee fan. Anyway, I digress. Exactly. I digress. Dave, dude, brother, let me know if you want to be featured as Real Hunk of the Day or Baron Song of the Day again down the road, all right? And that same goes for you. Jen Henriksen, and I would love to feature some more King Shifter music on uh, Thrash Metal Thursday. You freaking rock, brother! Happy birthday! Hope you have a wicked awesome day. And hey, party hard and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Hey, daddy. I think I can almost do the splits. You can almost do the You're doing a split right? Oh I my god. I think I cannot. Wow. Alright. 
I, ca I kind of can. Next on the list, a bubble chasing bass. I worked with a jolly old England, my good friend, um, Caleb Fuel. His last name may be Fuel, but he didn't chase fuel for a living. No, he chased bubbles for a living. This guy is cool. He's a big, tough guy. Hey, Caleb, I haven't heard from you in a long time, so drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing. Happy birthday to you. And, brother, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list. Celebrating a milestone birthday today. My good friend I've known for over 25 years, my man Jared Meter. Jared Meter, final standing graduate of Monsters Vineyard Beach High School class of 1993. And uh, Jared, milestone birthday, brother. How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Always great hearing from you, my friend. An awesome man, a hardworking man, and a great family man, a great friend. Jared, my friend, I hope you have a wicked awesome day. And hey, celebrate well and enjoy. Happy milestone, man. Cheers and beers. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. From the Great Island, the Monsters Vineyard Island. Greatest island in the world. Greatest state in the nation. Massachusetts. Without Massachusetts? It wouldn't be in America. Period. Dot. End of freaking story. That's right. All right. Next on the list. I'm just stalking the birthdays right now. Just waiting. I know you are. There's good things come to those who wait. The I know. There's something very special coming I up. I know. All right. Next on the list, my friend Jason Helms. Another bubble chasing badass I worked with in jolly old England. Jason, what's up, my brother from another mother? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Always good hearing from you. And, uh, brother, hey, drop me a line again. All right, drink with me right here, right now, will you? If you ain't driving, you better be drinking with me. Cheers and beers, my friend. Next on the list. This guy is a broadcast media journalist legend that I know down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Eastern New Mexico. My man Jonathan Firewell. This guy, ultra cool, badass, totally wicked awesome. Jonathan, dude, you know you love watching my parents' song of the day every day, you and your awesome, cool crew. That's right. You guys are amazing. All you um, media legends. It's great on media legend connections like you guys because you can make me famous. You can put my picture on the Wheaties box because nobody would ever buy it. <laughs> Put my ugly mug on a cereal box? Are you freaking kidding me? Maybe they'd use it as a diet board. I don't know. Well, Jonathan, my man, always a pleasure chatting with you. And uh, happy birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. That beer's going down fast. Next on the list, my man Levi Pate. Levi Pate. He's a um, self-made millionaire businessman. That I work, that I live in, the, I live in the same neighborhood as this man, Levi Pate. We live in the same neighborhood. And Levi, dude, we got to hang out and drink some adult beverages together sometime. But happy birthday to you. How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. The legend of Deer Valley Estates. Hell yeah. Um, Levi, my man, brother, happy birthday. Happy anniversary of coming out of the womb. Hope you all wake an awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list. This guy's a wicked, hardcore, legit, no bull Washington Capitals fan. My man, Seth Winship. Now, this guy is celebrating a milestone birthday. 25, man alive, the perfect age. Because guess what you can do, Seth? That's right. You can rent a car from the airport now. Your insurance goes down. You can already drink adult beverages. You can already wax your carrot at triple X rated movies if you so choose. But you don't need to do that, I know. You got it good, brother. Seth, my friend, my brother from another mother, happy birthday to you. A great hair from you. And you know what? I forgot to look at it. I forgot to see if your Washington Capitals actually won. I got the uh, Predators and uh, Blackhawks on. I have the Boston Bruins on, but your freaking Washington Capitals knocked my Bruins out of the playoffs. Yes. Damn it, I'm pissed about that. <laughs> But hey, I hope the Washington Capitals won. I'd love to see you get that birthday present. I already know that your wonderful, gorgeous, better half, the lovely, amazing Jessica Dickinson. I know she's spoiling you rotten right here, right now. You even said it yourself. She's treating you great. Hey, a great man deserves an even better woe man. That's why we're lucky guys, Seth. 
Badass Age Ranger! Then Stark, a danger is no stranger to an Age Ranger and Seth. I know you ain't no rump ranger. Hell no. But hey, Seth, my friend, I'll see you on Sunday. We'll be hanging out, man. We're going to party like it's 1969 minus the acid. Cheers and beers to you. And, of course, I'm having the most... Justin Dimmitt, we were talking about this earlier. Everything that I touch turns to dust tonight. I'm king minus and reverse. Every electronic device that I have has screwed up royally tonight. Time to restart my phone. Screw it. Lack of a murder victim with electronic device, devices, people. It's the way it goes. So, I can't look to see if the uh, team won. Whatever. I'm really pissed off tonight. I really am. And I apologize for that, my friends. It's been a shitty freaking week. But hey, I got my love goddess. I got my little princess. I got a wonderful costume to love goddess. I have a job. So you know what? And I got millions of friends like you out there. Could be worse. I could be a Montreal Canadiens fan, eh? <laughs> Yuck. All right. Next birthday, my good friend Maddie Garcia. Das do that? A walking brain of a lady that I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Northern Mexico, pretty much the same damn country. Maddie, what's up, my friend? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Former real baby of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Big and A. And I don't know, I still got some fan requests to answer from you. You did uh, request some uh, future hunks of the day and babes of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Well, Big and A. We're going to make it happen soon. I haven't forgotten about you, Maddie. Well, hey, happy birthday, my friend. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and bears to you, my dear. All right. Wow, that beer went down. Wicked hard. Wicked hard core. All right, screw it. Before I get to the next birthday, there's a lot of them today, folks. My good friend Lee Payton. He's a, um, he is a... The hell is it that you do? You're a managerial legend. This guy is a manager for a communications firm. This guy is ultra cool. Badass. Méchant génial. French for wicked awesome. And he brought me free beer today. And Lee Payton, my brother from another mother. Dude, this here beer is truly nectar of the gods. Hey, Big Al Hammonds, we swapped this beer. For this beer, remember that? And you like this here beer. You loved it a lot. Trust me, I'm the beer connoisseur. I'm Reverend Dr. B, the love doctor, and the beer connoisseur. All right? That shock top was amazing. This stuff, Young's Double Chocolate Stout, 5.2% alcohol by volume, just a smidge above normal strength. It's out of bed for United Kingdom, jolly old England, Wells and Young Brewing, Wells and Young's Brewing Company Limited. Bedford, United Kingdom. Proper beer owning apparatus, proper technique. Here we go. Oh, a big old pop. It's like pulling your head out of your ass, you know? Just saying. 45 degree right into the big suction apparatus, right over the keyboard, something's that damn good. Have a spill, drop yet. Yeah, never have, never will. Folks, this stuff is like taking a chocolate bar and melting it into beer, okay? I'm telling you, this is, this is epic stuff. It might be my favorite beer of all time. I've had it on the show before. Time to have it again. Cheers the best to all of you pros. They say Germany Kapai they say in Japan. Oh my god. Oh my dear god. That is epic stuff right there. Big A plus all the way. You know, I never drink more than two beers on my show. Today's been so freaking rough and an absolute kick to the nuts. It's like getting kicked in the nuts with a steel toe boot today, okay? Hey, at least I got nuts, right? Hell yeah! Mounds don't. Ha! <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, so I am not meant to look at the uh, hockey scores because I I am screwing this up royally. I'm as messed up as a football bat, my friends. I've got to see. Son of a bitch! Montreal Canadiens beat the Ottawa Senators three to two in overtime. God, I hate the freaking uh, Montreal Canadiens. Ugh. Hey, Seth Winship. Caps rally past Islanders with fill-in goalie Grubauer. Congratulations, Seth Winship, my friend. You got yourself a birthday present. All right, Stephanie May, co-owner of Philo Liquors. I know you're a Montreal Canadiens fan. 
Love you, girl. I hate your freaking hockey team passionately. But you know what? Let's all drink to friendship, eh? You, Seth, let's drink. <coughs> Squirrel, let's all drink. All right. Next birthday. This is the final birthday of the day. Birthday number 14. My good friend, Jacqueline uh, Bieu. B-I-E-U. I don't know how to pronounce it. When I met her four years ago, I knew her as Jacqueline Rafferty. Jack! She's a cop that I know from jolly old England. In fact, she's so cool. Four years ago, we went to Bible camp together. Oh, yeah. We found God, learned lots of scripture, and we definitely learned about adult beverages. Hi, Jack. Well, Jack, she's originally from Yeehaw, Texas. Hey, Texas is only 40% of the size of Alaska. Remember that, my friend. But, Jack, I haven't heard from you since the Nixon administration. So draw me a line. Let me know how you're doing. And hey, cheers and beers to you. Huh? All right. Wow. We had a trivia question, my friends. And it was quick. It was short. It was painless. What city is home for TV's The Golden Girls? My good friend, Mark Seegers. Mark Seegers, I know through some mutual friends. This guy's a big fan of mine. I'm a big fan of him. Mark Seegers, you said Miami, Florida. That's right, the hey. land of the old people. Yes? Happy birthday. Well, thank you. Welcome. Aw, shoot. My birthday's in another two months and ten days, but I like cookies. Yeah. I know, Justin Dimmitt. Shouldn't be eating on the show. You know what? Tonight's just a ball buster. I don't give a shit. It's my show. I do what I want. Unless the love goddess says otherwise. She's the boss. Yeah. Love you, Justin. Not in that way. Don't get emotionally erect. Hey. Mark Seegers, back to that. Sorry, I keep digressing. I'm not on my A game tonight. I normally am. But I'm exhausted. I'm going to go into a nice deep comatose like hibernation tonight. You get to love Dr. Raw, my friends. Raw, straight up. Tell it like it is. Mike Seegers, you absolutely nailed the trivia question. Wicked awesome job, L.A. Big. Yeah, I've got that salute to you. Oh, hell yeah. Brother, great chat with you last night and a big hearty cheers and beers to you. Delilah, you might want to grab Daddy a third beer. We're going to set a new record. Okay. Which one? Surprise me with something good. Okay. I don't know what's good, but okay. You know what Daddy likes. Bring me something. I'll let you know if it's good or not. Okay. Beer daughter. We're going to go with trifecta today. You know what? Screw it. I I had to change up some things on the show because initially I had some plans, but I had plans that fell through, so I had to make some changes at the last minute. Um, so... We got a different song that I'll be playing for the hunk of the day today. So in the meantime, I'm going to play a song from 1955. <clears throat> it's, called the to it's called Toy Bell by the Bees. And if you've ever heard of Chuck Berry's legendary 1972 classic, My Dingling, this is the song that it came from. I don't know. I'll grab something random. Another Young's Double Chocolate Stout? Oh, let's, oh, let's not do that one because I already drank one. Oh, I didn't know that. Drink one right now. Well, grab something different. Something that. Oh! Blue Moon Cinnamon Horchata Ale. Okay, I'll try it. There we go. Woo Ooh, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Folks, this song is epic from 1955. Listen to these lyrics, will you? Toy Bell by the Bees. Folks, this is. This just shows that 50s rhythm and blues was just as dirty as today's music. They were just more genius about it. I love this song. When I was a baby, I had a crying spell. Grandma bought me a toy bell. She gave it to me when it started to ring. Grandma called it my ding a ling Oh, my ding a ling Yeah! Now I feel a little bit better. Hell yeah, I need some good music. That's what it is. All right, let's give it up. A couple more quick shout-outs real quick. I got to give it up to my good friend, Krista Phillips. 
Krista Phillips is a very dear friend of mine that I know down here in Yeehaw, Texas. Uh, Krista, thank you so much for your awesome customer service tonight. I got me some Subway. You're there. Of course, you're the amazing daughter of our, of your wicked awesome mommy, my dear friend, Renee Phillips, and my good friend, Jason Phillips, a badass crew dog. And, of course, your sister, Kat, an amazing young lady as well. The Fab Four of Awesomeness, the Phillips family, I love you all very much. And, Krista, great seeing you today. And a big hearty cheers and apple juice to you. You're not quite old enough yet for adult beverages. So cheers and apple juice. Let's give it up to my good friend Charlie Waters. Now, Charlie, I have known you since 1999. We worked together in good old California, Atlanta, fruits and nuts, otherwise known as West Nevada. Badass crew, dog. Great leader of men, women, in it. And I, when you told me that our mutual friend, Big Al Hammonds, was moving down here to Yeehaw, Texas, I'm like, well, what is, what's he like? Is he ultra cool, badass, and totally wicked awesome? Or is, an ap- or is he an absolute freaking dick? You're like, dude, Al is an amazing man. Charlie, you done did do deliver, my friend. Because Al is incredible. And Charlie, you were incredible then, and you're incredible now. Charlie Waters, my man. I give you the much respect. Big hearty cheers and bears to you. All right. Whew. I don't like to drink a lot, but tonight, you know what I said? Screw it. I'm not driving anywhere. I ain't going anywhere. Once I get done with this here show, I'm going to practice making babies with the love goddess. Why? Because I'm the love doctor. That's why. All right. I heard baby daughter. Okay, folks. You know what we need to do? We've got the shout outs done finally after 27 freaking minutes. This show is already about a... Well, I was hoping for a... uh, Maybe a 40-minute show. It's going to be more like a 50-minute show at this rate. Oh, jeez. My good friend Kevin Sherman pissed off. Nashville Predators have beaten his Chicago Blackhawks 4-2. Please don't listen to me. That's the right one. I I was about to say, I'm not going back to that collection. You are a wicked... There's always a full-fledged collection of adult beverages in the Love Doctor's fridge. Squeeze me. All right. Well, let's bring out today's instrument. I'm, I mean, vehicle of the day. This one was taken by a very dear friend of mine. He hooked me up with the picture. I was there. I was the DJ at the... Remember when I went to the Merkel Car Show? Mm-hmm. March 28th? Yeah. I was the uh, DJ for that event. And this one, this right, right here, this automobile won the best of show. This is a 1957 Chevy Bel Air Nomad. The station wagon. That car was best of show. Look at that thing. How awesome is that, Delilah? That's wicked awesome. It sure is, huh? Ain't mm-hmm. it out of butte? They don't make them like they used to, huh? Mm-mm. No, they do not. Hey. What? You didn't do the celebrity birthday day, did you? I'm about to. Okay. I'm, you're going to announce the first celebrity birthday. Yay! Why? Because you're Princess Delilah. And also because it's my favorite YouTuber. That's right. Well, folks, I've been talking about Red Price Sock a lot. Okay, Red Price Sock with his 1955 classic hand clapping opened up a lot of old school radio shows back in the 50s. Well, this guy right here, the amazing Wilbert Red Price Sock and his saxophone. That is your instrument of the day, Red Price Sock saxophone. This guy, an amazing African American legend, badass sax blasting beast. Born 1926, passed away in 1993. One of the very best in 50s rhythm and blues, rock and roll, saxology. That is an amazing saxophone by an amazing man right there. All right, well, folks, I got a treat for all y'all, as we like to say when it's on Yeehaw Western Wednesday. We got a real hunk of the day on Baron Song of the Day. I was going to go. I had to change plans at the last minute due to uh, extenuating circumstances. But um, I am going to... 
featured this man's signature <laughs> tune. He's been featured on Beer and Song of the Day before. Is our real hunk of the day? And uh, we're about to feature him again. And we're going to bring out celebrity birthdays. And uh, Delilah, would you like to open the show with your celebrity birthday choice for yeah. today? Can I show, can I now, show? he was born on this day in 1995. What well, is actually, his real... Actually, in real life, 1996. Well, fa famousbirthdays.com says 1995. You might have to write them and tell them otherwise. I know. Either that or your friend's lying. What's his name? His name, well, his, his real name is, is Tyler. Tyler Ellis. Yep. Ty Ellis. This guy. But what does he go by? He goes by Deadlocks. On Deadlocks. Time. And what's so special about him to you? He makes videos and he's freaking hilarious. And he's your what? You most, always say it. Most favorite YouTuber. Yep, most favorite YouTuber ever. You talk about him more than you talk about mommy and daddy. Freaking teenagers, I'm telling you. This hey, is what happens hey, when you have a teenager. Hey, be glad it's not Justin Bieber. Oh, thank Wait, God. Wait, speaking of Justin Bieber, they are a girl, I think, or maybe a few girls, I don't know, suggested a Justin Bieber song to be played at lunch today. What, are they stuck on stupid? Yeah. They My ears exploded, I was about to die. Were your ears bleeding? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's Justine cool. Beaver. Well, look. Daddy, Daddy says that my favorite YouTuber looks like a girl. I, I, All right, she's got a picture of her favorite YouTuber, folks. Um, I didn't it's know. Kinda, All like, right, let's let's work on this. Kind of bad. Like, the, let me see this. <sighs> let's see what she looks like. <laughs> I, let me change the brightness. I'm gonna make my daughter mad. Uh, yeah, that works. All right, put that up there. That's her favorite YouTuber, Tyler Rett Ellis. Just kidding, Tyler Ellis, Ty Ellis. He's, some sources say he's 19, some say he's 20, and no longer a teeny bopper. <laughs> well, he's actually 19. 19. Well, hey, an average, the average IQ of an average Eli Manning fan's what? 19? Like, like, like 0.5. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of Eli Manning? Yeah. Who's your favorite baseball team? Red Sox. Who's your favorite hockey team? Bruins. Who's your favorite basketball team? Celtics. Who's your favorite football team? Patriots. And what do you think of the New York Yankees? How about the New York Eli Mannings? Montreal Canadiens, eh? How about the New York Jetsicles? Yeah. I think you'd rather be beaten with a bag of hammers, wouldn't you? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, all right. Well, let's get to our... Uh, Next song of the day, we get to our real hunk of the day, our beard song of the day, Fig and A. <coughs> Who's it gonna be? Justin Dimmitt. There he is. This is, uh, this is an old the number one all-time New England Patriots fan, hater in the world, but he loves the Boston Red Sox, he likes the Boston Bruins, he likes the Boston Celtics. Right, guys, uh, so three out of four ain't bad. That's as good as better have Robin okay. and their amazing dogs. Um, Lucky and Windsor. There we go! That's right! It's theme song Johnny Be Good, Marty McFly's version from Back to the Future, 1985. Look at that, playing cards with Lucky. Shit, let's drink to this, y'all! Brains of an average New York Patriot. I knew England. You know I'm screwed up. I almost said New York Patriots. Wow. New England Patriots hater. Just kidding, Justin. Ha <laughs> ha. Of course, Justin Dimmitt is the number one Star Trek fan in the world. He knows more about Star Trek than the entire Star Trek crew. Nice beard. The ladies love him. Almost as much as they love the love doctor, huh? Eh? Now I have one more birthday announcement I'll be getting to. There he is with Grandpa Dimmit. Justin, it's time to bring out another old favorite. Blue Moon Cinnamon Horchata Ale. 5.5% 5 .5 from absolute exquisite wicked awesomeness. This is out of Golden, Colorado. I love this stuff, it's been a long time since I made it. Probably over the upper ass pump technique, here we go. <laughs> 45 degree right in the big cup to apparatus, right over the keyboard, because it says, I'm gonna have a first drop, yeah, never have number one. Oh, hell 
Now let's do it. Now do the duck walk. Delilah and Daddy dancing for you on Beer and Soy in a Day. That freaking rocks. Go ahead, let's do it. That, that rocks, doesn't it? Yep. Some people wow. are saying that I look different with a headband on and glasses. Well, then, well you do. How, how, how much different do I look? <coughs> I look a lot different. Slightly. All right. Wow, that was a workout. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. Cheers, Biz, all of you. Pro is the same. Germany Kapai is the same. Japan. <laughs> Wow, what a day. All right, celebrity birthdays. Victoria Beckham, that's right. Remember her, the Lice Girls? I know, the Spice Girls. She's 41 years old today. Whoa. Hey, I'm almost 42. I know. Watch yourself with whoa. <laughs> I feel like I'm older than God. <laughs> Abby Kaplan of the phenomenal band Pentatonix. They're probably my favorite modern band. Well, no, I still love uh, Dropkick Murphys more, but. Abby Kaplan Pentatonix, if you haven't listened to them before, acapella at its finest. A true throwback to 50s doo wop. He's 26 years old today. Jennifer Garner, gorgeous actress with the big old ears, you know, the ones that stick out like that. <laughs> oh, I'll bite my tongue. <laughs> Jennifer Garner, 43 years old today, but she looks like she's 23. Sean Bean, comedian, 56 years old today. Ah, uh, rapper, singer, Redman, 45 years old today. Actress, Olivia Hussey, 64 years old today. She look, she is aged well. Still looks good today. Ah, uh, Eliza Doolittle, 27, and definitely a gift sent from heaven. Ryder, Ryder, Piper! Oh, God, yeah, where's my wrestling fans at? Yeah, Roddy Roddy Piper and Piper's Pit. WWF back in the day before before it became WWE. Roddy Roddy Piper, 61 years old today. Communist Premier Nikita Khrushchev. Born in 1895, passed away in 1971. How about actor William Holden? Phenomenal actor, born in 1918, passed away in 1981. Oh, dear God. She's a former baby of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. The lovely, gorgeous, amazing Layla Rashawn. <whistles> when I think sexual chocolate, I think of Layla Rashawn. I'll never forget Harlem Nights, 1989. Oh, Bennett Snake Eyes Wilson talking about it too. And uh, <laughs> I got a girl who's so good. And, you know, Della Reese said it. And when you throw it up in the air, it turns into sunshine. Her name was Sunshine in Harlem Nights. Leela Rashawn, hell, I'll drink to that, and you should too. Hot damn. Uh, singer Liz Fair, way overrated in my opinion, but 48 years old today. Boomer Esiason, phenomenal left-handed blonde-haired quarterback from the Cincinnati Bengals. 54 years old today, phenomenal commentator. Yeah, I know, he played for the Jets, goals. But hey, he likes the Patriots, so he's also cool. Uh, J. Pierpont Morgan, entrepreneur, born in 1837, passed away in 1913. Dakota Sky, adult film star. Hey, Chris Coleman, you need to look up Dakota Sky, D-A-K-O-T-A-S-K-Y-E. Because she was born the exact same month, day, and year as you. And she's 21. You two should go drinking together, huh? Wrap that rascal if you meet up with her. Take it to the love doctor's advice. Be smart. Rap that rascal. Cheers and beers. Yep, she's 21 today. All right. Uh, Michael 
Uh, Mikhail Ak Ackerfeld. Michael Af Ackerfeld. Oh, my goodness. Singer, guitarist for the heavy metal band Opeth. O-P-E-T-H. Where's my metalheads at? You know who they are. All right. Well, shit. Let's drink some more. Delilah, is it just me or is it like wicked hot in here now? It is actually. It is actually wicked hot in here. All right. Well, it's about to get even hotter, my friends, because it's time for our real babe of the day. It's her birthday today. I saved you for last. You got to save the best for last. Oh, I just realized. Justin, damn it. I cannot believe I screwed this up. I told you I'm screwing it up. <laughs> I started on my rants. I didn't even get through the rest of the hunks of the hunk of the day pictures. Oh, my dear God. Well, you know what? Screw it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to show off my man, Justin, damn it. We're going to talk about this day in history. There's Grandma, damn it. Ozzy, 1976. National League greatest comeback ever. Baseball. 12 to 1, trailing the uh, Philadelphia Phillies win 18 to 16 in 10 innings. Um, Mike Schmidt hit four consecutive home runs. Justin Dimmitt, you drink to that? I will too. Honestly, 1968, first game for the Oakland A's in Oakland Alameda Stadium. They lost 4 to 1 to the Baltimore Orioles. This guy is like me. He's a beer connoisseur. Love it. And hey, that's him with his dad. They were at the old Custom to Love Goddess. See, I told you Justin likes the Red Sox. In fact, him and his dad, Jeff, have been on Beer and Song of the Day multiple times. Justin, you get your awesomeness from your mom and dad. They're amazing people. No question about it. Yeah, well, I'll drink to that. We're drinking together, Justin. Let's do it again, long distance. Right. I know, folks, my shows don't normally go like this, but today is an off day, and uh, you just got to bear with me, okay? We have good days and bad days. Uh, this is not one of my proudest shows I've ever done. You know, I go, for, oh, dear God. I go for higher standards. That ain't higher standards. Patriots suck. Really, Justin Dimmitt? I love you, man. But, hey, Justin, here's what I think about that shirt. Hey, kids, look, a deer. That's how what I think of that shirt. Oh, he's safe. Good man, Justin. Yeah. Did you know he's been on Star Trek before? Look at that shit, will ya? Hot damn. Hey, on this day, 1965, April 17, 1965, two very amazing things happened. First game ever at Shea Stadium, the previous home of the New York Mets. They lost to the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates 4-3. <coughs> Squeeze me. But also on this day, 1965, Ford Mustang, formally introduced. Yep, Ford Mustang. Happy birthday, Ford Mustang. 51 years old today. Ugh. Base price for that original Mustang, $2,368. That's right. That, Justin is a fellow Masonic brother like me. That's right, brother. Hell yeah. It's great to be a fellow Masonic brother. Hey, look at that. Hanging out with famous people. <laughs> That's ultra cool. Trekkers. Trekkers, Trekkies, Hotties. Oh, God. Justin Demet, you badass, man. You hanging out with Chewbacca. Hey, Star Wars is cool, too, you know. You can't... You can like both Star Trek and Star Wars. Some people think differently. Some will say, oh, you if you like one, you have to hate the other. Bullshit. You can like both. Ah, oh, we love you, Gail Riggs. Justin's wonderful mommy. That's right. That's an awesome picture right there. Keep calm and boldly go when no man has ever been before. Or boldly go when no one has gone before. But I changed it to the Love Doctor style. But of course, in the case of a uh, slut, boldly go where every man has been before. Ha! Hey, yeah, I went there. The drink's on you. That is one of the coolest pair of sunglasses I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, 1956, Willie Moscone sinks 150 consecutive balls in a billiards tournament. Folks, that's like going through 10 tables in a row. There's 15 balls on a table. Dude, Willie Moscone was a legend. Oh, Justin and Robin from exotic Japan. Living in exotic Japan. 
They won that contest. That was the uh, country representation contest. And there's a fellow Masonic uh, Lodge right there, Williamsburg Lodge. Number four, oh God, is it number 493, Justin? Oh, look at that, ladies and you men that love the man. He's topless. He's got a move. Hanging out with Lucky. Aw, shucks. Justin Dimmick, the youngest master of the lodge in history at Williamsburg. Hey, well, that's hanging out in the garage of uh, the old Casa de Love Goddess. Justin hanging out with us for a few days. Him and his dad. And we got our hats on. Justin, flex them moves, will ya? Oh, yeah. Austin, 1953. Oh, Lucy's Burgers. Damn right. That was the old location. They got better now. Trust me on that. Odyssey 1953, William, Mickey Mantle hit a 565-foot home run, 172 meters for our metric friends. It was in Washington, D.C.'s Griffith Stadium, considered the longest official home run in Major League history. Some, they say, have gone longer, but... Oh, the Easter Bunny! Well, hey, at least you weren't the Easter Bunny, right? You know that old joke, Justin. I know you do. Oh, yeah. Justin Dimmitt, like I said, he's famous. And the ladies love him. Of all races and all colors. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Now look at this. Look at all dapper and stuff. Damn, Justin. I wish I could do a selfie like that. Too bad I can't. Camera breaks when I do. Yeah, you didn't have to agree with me. Jackass. <laughs> look at that picture, will you? Epic. This guy, there's nobody in the world that knows more about Star Trek than my good friend Justin Dimmitt. I guarantee it. That's one lovely lady, Robin, right there. Justin's gorgeous, better half Robin. That is an amazing couple. He knows. I know. Justin, brother, we will live long and prosper forever. Damn right. You like Mr. Justin, don't you? Yeah. Yeah? You know he's going to come and visit us in November? What? Yeah. How cool is that? Wicked cool. It sure is wicked cool. All right, folks, I have saved the best for last. We got a few more of this day in history, but right now it's time for our final song of the day. We're taking it back to 1951. The song's called Rocket 69. Oh, yeah. 1951, the Todd Rhodes Orchestra with Connie Allen. Listen to this one. As we bring out our real baby of the day, our beard song of the day, she's 27 and a gift sent from heaven. She's finding that new set of snow tires. She's a former multiple real baby of the day, a beer and song of the day. She supplies all the parts and tools that we need on the job site. The lovely, gorgeous, amazing Dana Friend. Dana Friend, my friend for life. Dana Friend, where do they grow people like you, my dear? Because I need to go there. Dana Friend, happy birthday to you. And uh, always great hearing from you. We're going to bring out that legendary song from 1951. When you're going to play, show off a beautiful baby today day like this, you got to bring out a song that's as hot as she is. And this is a hot song for a hot lady. Let's drink, Dana. Happy birthday, my dear. Cheers and beers. Wow. Dana Fred. Folks. Look at this picture. Oh my god. Don't worry, that's food coating. She's not bleeding, okay? Ain't that beautiful? Hot damn. Good god. We've, had, we've got that picture in the album on the Bear and Song of the Day Facebook page. Yowza. Thunder jugs. Oh, Clavage. French for Clavage. Blow that horn. Yeah. Gain a friend. My friend for life. A very dear friend of mine, an awesome lady. Today, Jolie, you're very pretty, my friend. That's right. Very nice, full of life, very positive attitude, you know. 
You know how it is, folks. Sometimes women are like really beautiful, and then they're stuck up. No, Dana ain't like that. Brandon, she'll shoot you if you piss her off. She got good aim too. Lovely. Oh, the Tom Cruise throwback right there. Digging it. Love it. Lovely. Yeah. Can't make me feel mighty fine because I ain't fine. Ain't a friend fine. Love Dr. Reverend Dr. B ain't fine at all. I know Connie Allen's deeper voice than me. I get it. In my rocket 69. Oops. Dropsies. Oh, hello. Yeah! I remember featuring that for Yeehaw Western Wednesday one time when we featured it Dana. Remember that? All right. RSA 1937. Cartoon characters Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd, and Petunia Pig debuted. Did you know that? Now you do. 78 years ago today. RSA 1933. The Chicago Bears won their first ever NFL game. They've been around since 19... 19- 20. Um, they beat the New York football giants 23-21. to 21. Wow. Man, the Bears were shitty at that time. Then they got wicked good. Then they won a Super Bowl many years later. I guess my Patriots. And then they dropped like a bad habit and they sucked because they got Jay Douchebag Cutler. That's a nice picture. Love it. A lot of lovely pictures here, my friend Dana Friend. RSA 1925. Metro Pictures, Goldwyn Pictures, and Louis B. Mayer merged to form MGM. Folks, MGM was born on this day, 1925. RSA 1920. American Professional Football Association forms. We know it today as the NFL. Get in shape, will you? RSA 1907. Ellis Island, New York, 11,745 immigrants arrived. Wow. Honestly, in 1875, (laughs) snooker, a variation of pool, is invented by Sir Neville Chamberlain. How about that? Oh, lovely ladybug. We're digging it. Oh, I got to wear that hat sometime. The dickhead hat. I should have worn that on today's show. Dana? You've been saying you were going to be a guest co-host this on Baron Song of the Day. Well, you need to bring yourself over here. And when you make that happen, we'll wear our dickhead hats and have a wicked awesome show. Okay? Hell yeah. We got to get the show moving, folks. Because it's already gone 53 minutes. Dana, you remember that? 2013 Beer Festival? We were there. Damn right we were. Beer! Beer is good for you. In moderate doses, of course. Oh my god! Wow! Hello. Good, good. Uh huh. Yeah. Champagne in the tub. Batman never looked so good, huh? You damn right he did. Uh uh-uh, uh, not until now. Dana, you know how to make things look good, don't you? Hell yeah, you do. And look at that, 2014, we were back. Beer Summit, Abilene Beer Summit again. Yeah, I know, I wore the same shirt. You know why? Because that's my beer festival shirt. So, yep. We were there. We were hanging out with former real baby of the day, Leanne LaCassio, who works with Dana Friend. Two lovely ladies hanging out with the love doctor. Hey, they made me look better than I could ever imagine. Let's put it that way, because I'm horrifying to look at. So, yep. Hello, Ralphie! Ralphie Trujillo, a legendary badass man with Jammer as well. <laughs> Dana, you rock, girl. No question about it. Hey, I'm not a fan of the Dallas Cowboys, but Cowboys ain't never looked so good, huh? Yeah, no, they haven't. So there you go. Final last few pictures of my good friend, Dana Friend. I don't know what happened to the picture. Oh, let's save the best for last, folks. I don't know why it didn't transfer over to the iPod, but this picture is truly the stuff of legends. And, of course, more technical 
Technological device issues. This is nothing new. Ding bat. Oh, there it is. There it is. Check this out, y'all. Again, the final picture of the day. I've saved the best for last. Oh my God, Dana, that is epic. Taken by Lost Photography, one of our unofficial sponsors. That freaking rocks. And so do you. Let's drink and take it home. Folks, empty the brain cells of an average Los Angeles Lakers fan. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Don't have right run back to me. Folks, I'm making the feet as I head out. So everybody take care. We get an awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything when you do. Don't drink and drive my spray drink. I might kill yourself or somebody else and drinking the driver is dumber than being a Yankees fan. I was dumber than that. Yeah, it's rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Eh, I'm a good Tom Brady. Oh, dude, dream on, you dumb inbred schlepper. Jackass. Man! Oh, man, slamming women. Or oh, animal abuse. Or oh, racism. Or oh, people to watch on bets. Or oh, fake friends. Or oh, anybody that supports the fans. Or oh, is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Or oh, ISIS. Things like that are just plain stupid. And definitely deserve a big... What do they deserve, Delilah? What? What do they deserve? GFY. Big fat GFY. That's right. Folks, I'm out I'll see you on Sunday. I'm taking a day off tomorrow because my love goddess and I have a barbecue to go to. The little princess is holding the fort down with the yeah. dog. Yeah. Yeah. No parties. I'll try. Folks, I'll see all of you on Sunday. Talk to you later. Dog stink. That's right. Bye bye. 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 Patches might actually start a party. Patches might start a party. What about Shadow? Oh, he will. He won't? He will. He will. Oh, our dogs are party animals. More like farty animals. <laughs> they are. Yep. Burp. Yeah. See y'all on Sunday. Here yeah.